Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Let's continue on down into the hips of the character here. I'm going to select these edges right here, and I'll go back to that character screen layout. And let's start working our way down here. Now, one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create um, the holes for the legs. And to do that, we need to make kind of a kind of a diaper for the guy. So let's work on that a bit. I'm going to scale in on the Y just a little and move this forward a bit like that. It looks like I could also give him a little bit more of a arched back just based on the reference images here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to select this edge and continue extruding down. And I think I'll scale in the Z to flatten it out some, like so. And I'll do a little bit of rotating and placing this edge right in here. We could probably get it right in here, scale it in and get it right just kind of under the belt there. And let's do that again and bring it down. There we go. And a little bit more. Like so. Scale it in in the Y. And I could even bring this in a little bit now. Now I'm going to bring this edge down one more time. So I'll extrude it one more time. Move it down to right just where the legs would begin. And right around here. So now what we need to do is create kind of a diaper under the crotch of the character and down behind so it connects underneath and then we'll have the opening for the leg to extrude the leg down. So we need to figure out which edges we're going to use for this. Zoom in here and let's take a look at this. I think maybe, let's see how many edges we have. We've got one, we've got four here. Do we have four in back that we could use? Yeah, we could use four there. I think that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll do four and four. So I'll take those four and these four. And now I'll go back to that character screen layout and let's start extruding just these down. So I'll extrude down and pull these down like this. Maybe move them and scale them as well. So I'll hit the period key and S and X and scale them in in the X. I'll also come over here, move that pivot point back and scale it in the Y some like this. So they begin to come together a little bit. I'll extrude again, pull down a bit, scale in the Y again, move them together some, maybe even in the Z a bit. Move them in in the X. Can't move them in that much, can I? Let me uh, move the pivot point back down to the 3D cursor and S and X and scale those in just a little more. There we go. And now this extrusion, I'll extrude this and I'll scale in the Y to bring those together more. And now let's go take a look at that. I'm looking at these edges here and it looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine along this side of the what will be the opening for the leg. And I've got down here one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect these up directly. So if I go to vertex mode, I'll select these points, press Alt-M and choose at center. And that will begin to connect these up here, like so. But I think also I might want to insert an edge loop, say right in here, and maybe right in here as well. Let's see how that works. That will give us kind of an even number of polygons around the leg. All right, so once I've done that, now I need to go through and do some major point pulling to get this to a shape that um, 
I can use to extrude out the leg, kind of like I did up here with the arm. So I think what I'm going to do is just come through here and begin adjusting these just a little so I get more of an, of an oval shape to this. And I'm just trying to adjust points to get them evenly spaced as well. So I've pulled some points to get the opening of the leg a little bit rounder, a little bit smoother, and more evenly spaced between the points. So I'm going to go back to the character view, and now let's begin to extrude this down just a bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit E to extrude, and I'm going to pull this way out. And this isn't where it's going to be, of course, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it in the Z to flatten that up. And then I'll rotate this back and then bring it back in like this. Now I could also scale in the Y a bit, it seems, over here. And I've, I just did that to kind of flatten it up some and even it out a bit. Now I can bring that back up tight into here and put it in place. So we have more of an even flat edge there. All right, so I'm going to try and move this into place. It almost looks like I could move this a little bit as well. All right. All right, so let's try this again. Let's extrude down one more time for this bend, and I'm going to rotate and scale into place here like this. And now I'll extrude again, maybe come down right into this part of the thigh and rotate that down again like that. This may need to come in in the Y a bit. There we go. Now I'm going to begin on the three edges of the knee. So here's that top edge that's going to hold the form. like this. Maybe I'll scale in the Z to flatten that up a bit. So there's that first edge. Here's the center edge around which the knee will actually bend. Like that. Now let's extrude again for that third edge right there. Move that into place. All right. And let's then extrude down another time or two into the boot. Now we're not going to create feet or anything because we don't need to see them. And maybe one more time down in here. All right, and there we go. Let's take a look at it. Now we just need to do some serious point pulling to get this the way we need it to be. So we're going to have to do some pulling down like that. We're also going to need to do some pulling inward like this as well. So I'll begin working on that. And in the next video, maybe we'll come back up and start working on the fingers and the hands. So I'll see you then. If you'd like to learn more about Blender, then join me for my Blender Scene Creation course. In it, we'll create this animated scene of a mech descending into an underground tomb. As we go, you'll be introduced to Blender's modeling tool set as we build the mech character and the environment. We'll talk about manipulating objects, the difference between object mode and edit mode, and as we begin modeling the mech, we'll discuss more advanced topics, like cutting one 3D object with another using booleans. We'll talk about object origins and parenting, creating geometry with the bridge tool, and creating tubes or pipes with Bezier curves. We'll create the elements of the environment, the pillars, the walls, and we'll add more detailed scene elements along the way. Once the modeling is complete, we'll talk about UV mapping what it is, why it's needed, and how Blender's UV mapping toolset can help you UV map your 3D objects quickly and efficiently. We'll take a look at Blender's Cycles render engine as we add the materials for the mech and the environment. We'll use the free open source image editing program GIMP 
to prepare and edit our textures and apply them to the 3D models in the environment and on the Mac. Ultimately, we'll want our character to move, so we'll go over preparing the character for rigging, creating the armature, and how to set up an advanced foot roll rig. We'll create custom shapes and make sure all our controls are parented and organized, ready for animating. We'll begin animating our character flying into the scene and dropping to the ground. We'll use Blender's graph editor and dope sheet to adjust the timing, and we'll talk about keyframing and tangents as well. Once our scene is complete and we've animated the character, we'll do some final tweaks to the lighting, as well as have some fun creating a jet flame effect for our mech's jetpack. And in the end, we'll render out the animation and export a movie file. Bringing an animated scene to life is an amazing process. And once you know how to do it, you can bring any of your ideas to life. So join me for Blender Scene Creation. Learn more at DarrenLyle.com.